Well, not all mothers can or want to breastfeed. Some babies, however, are so sick they need breast milk to survive. Today, officials from Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro's office announced a new law to make sure that sick babies get life saving donated breast milk. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Kim Hudson spoke with a mother from Pottstown who donates in memory of her son. I lost my son Connor at 18 weeks gestation in April of 2019. Kristen McCann of Pottstown still holds the memory of her son dear, but it wasn't until after the births of her son Noah and daughter Ava that McCann realized she could do something to help keep the memory of Connor alive. So we started noticing that our freezer supply was amounting to more than what she was ever going to need. McCann was inspired to start donating her breast milk last April four years after Connor passed away. That was when I contacted Mid-Atlantic Mother's Milk Bank to, to start the process to become a donor. Our donors are our heroes. Denise O'Connor is executive director of the Milk Bank. She says more than 300 donors like McCann were carefully screened before their donations headed to thousands of babies in homes and 60 hospitals on the East Coast, including in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And then we take that milk and we test and bottle and pasteurize it before it's distributed to our recipients, who are primarily babies who are in the neonatal intensive care unit, such as preterm babies or babies that have certain cardiac or, or GI conditions. And milk bank officials believe that they'll need a lot more of these packages after an announcement by Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro's administration. That is a Medicaid mandate for coverage of donor milk um, for babies with certain medical conditions. That mandate goes into effect this week and will allow more babies to get this milk. McCann says Connor is helping so many families. We're always looking for charitable things to do in our son's memory. And with what is in this freezer, McCann says Connor would be impressed. In Pottstown, Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.